Welcome back. Now we're on our fifth installment of our marketing lessons from a data scientist uh, series. And today we're talking about taking actions on insights. Now we'll call insights the output of a machine in which you as a marketer are sitting in the driver's seat. So insights, uh, not anything new to the marketer's lexicon. We're today going to call an insight a fact plus an action. So it's a, a piece of information and something you can do about it. And so getting back to some of the examples we're using in the, uh, the last session about autonomous vehicles and route planning, if there's an accident on the freeway that you can't see yet, that uh, the machine can provide you information and say, hey, there's, a, there's an accident here on the freeway, take this exit now and it'll save you, you know, 24 minutes or whatever. That is an example of an actionable insight. That's an insight, which is a fact. There's an accident on the freeway and an action. Here's a route uh, that you can take. So um, when we're talking about these facts, these facts are going to be uh, at least two things. They'll at least be explanatory. So it'll let you know what is going on uh, in terms of business processes or, or outcomes. So you'll be able to explain it. Um, it's not a black box. And then two, it'll be novel or non-obvious. And so there are plenty of things that you do know about your customers, but an insightful uh, fact is going to be something that's, that's new or non-obvious. Um, and our actions are going to have two requirements we'll put on it. One is that it's activatable. And so we will talk a little bit about an activatable insight versus an actionable insight. So this activatable insight represents discrete action that actually takes you to uh, acting on that, that, um, on that fact. And they're also contextual. So um, it'll provide new views into the, your customers, your tactics, and it'll be contextual to you. What's, in, what's insightful for you might not be insightful for somebody else, or even if you have different roles in a marketing organization, uh, depending on what your role is and if you're offering content or emails or more uh, execution optimization, that different things might be contextual. And so in order for something to be an activatable insight, that action will need to be contextual. Um, so there are plenty of people talking about uh, insights today in, uh, in the landscape, uh, just in general in marketing. So more and more uh, vendors, uh, organizations are looking to and for insights to help improve these processes. And so it's, it's almost uh, never ending. Right? Uh, what distinguishes an activatable insight from an actionable insight, um, you know, it, you might have an insight that, that tells you something that might have an action coupled with it about something that you should do. But most of the time, if you're looking for insights in your BI tool, there's no do it button in your BI tool that you then have to go up and uh, figure out the execution and what that looks like and do everything else in other downstream tools. So an activatable insight um, might uh, look something more like this. And so we'll look at two here. One is for decrease, decreasing acquisition costs. So the fact might be prospects with higher engagement uh, momentum are twice as likely to become premium subscribers. So that's something that tells you something explainable, something novel about your premium subscribers. And the action might be filter out the lower momentum users from your retargeting pool because they're not going to convert anyway. And you can uh, improve your efficiency there. So this action now is very tightly uh, coupled to that fact and executable from uh, an execution tool like a customer data platform. Um, additionally, you might have uh, a different use case around upselling existing customers. So here's a fact. Repeat customers have a much higher affinity for leather than single purchasers. So uh, a kind of logical next step could be try targeting them with these recommended leather products. And if you can't do that, if you are going in your BI tool and you say, hey, there's a lot of activity going around, on around leather, if you can't then execute based off of that, then that's not really an activatable insight. So what we're in search for is a machine learning machine that puts us in the driver's seat that allows us to execute on these activatable insights. So in our subsequent sessions, we'll talk with actual marketers in actual use cases, delivering on actual activatable insights.